Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com, and today we're going to talk about uh, repairs on a patch panel, a computer patch panel. And today's lesson applies not only to Cat 5e, but it also applies to Cat 6. One of the tools I'm going to be using is a punch down tool. This is my punch down tool. And I have in here what's called a 110 blade. The blade comes out. It has two portions. It has a non cutting side and it has a little blade there, a cutting side. And it drops in. And, and again, you want to use what's called a 110 punch down. And the reason why is because you have what's called 110 um, connections on the back of all professional patch panels. And that's all you want to use, patch panels that have 110 connections, because that's the standard today. So one of the things you do is when you bring in the cable from the side and you, you string it out according to the color code, and the color code's right on all our patch panels. You're going to take the end that says cut, that has the cutting blade on it, so it says cut, has the cutting blade. You push the cable down into the proper slot, and as you push the cable down, you're going to be cutting it. You'll hear the snap as I push down. That snap will cut the cable with the blade and it will trim it perfectly precise for the patch panel. Now, if you're having problems, if you're sure the color code is right, but you're still having problems with a patch panel, one of the things you want to do is you take the blade and you put the non-cutting blade in there. See it? That's a non-cutting. There's nothing sharp there. And then you go back down and you re-punch it down. Push it a couple times where that cable goes in here and you do every single slot push it sometimes it's not seated correctly in there if you're having problems with your patch panel just keep on punching it down each cable just go from one to the other until you're all done then retest it using your tester to make sure that it's right here you also want to test it at the jack level now one thing you want to take note is that as the cable is pushed down, and I'm going, to, I'm going to use my hand here as if this is the cable, inside this little plastic thing are two little uh, pieces of metal. So as you push it down, these two pieces of metal on either side will strip the cable and give you what's called a gas-tight connection. And so uh, what happens is, is when you push it down all the way, it grabs the cable. The cable can't come out. It usually doesn't come up very easily, but it grabs the cable, gives you what's called a gas-tight connection. Now, if you're having problems, uh, it's sometimes it's because it's not, like I said already, it's not pushed down all the way. Just repunch it and it will push it down all the way. However, some people like to use old patch panels over again. Never use an, a patch panel or a jack uh, more than once. And the reason why is, as you're punching down the cable and it slides between those two uh, metal fingers that, that grab the cable, those fingers spread apart. And so the next time you push it in there, there's really not a good connection. And it's not what you call a gas tight connection. So the copper cable, what will happen is that copper cable will tarnish after a while and will build up some resistance between those these little blades here. I'm going to try to bring it in real close so you can see them. I don't know if you can see those blades. There they go. You can see the little metal uh, portions in there. See, it's hard to pick out, but there's little metal blades in there. Now when those blades get spread apart and they don't grab the cable tight enough, um, sometimes you're going to have intermittent problems on the network. Or if you're reusing them and it doesn't grab tight enough uh, because they were already punched down once and the cable was removed and new cables were put in. What happens to these things is it will work the day you install it, but three or four months later or even a year later, uh, what will happen is is that cable will tarnish, it will build up resistance, and usually on a, a rainy or a high humid day you'll start having some issues um, on that uh, jack. And uh, you'll have a hard time trying to figure out uh, why your network is slowing down, why uh, your computer seems to be connected at one time but an hour later it loses its connection. So every time I've seen people go uh, very uh, cheap and, and reuse um, their patch panel 
uh, from a, sometimes from another install. Some unscrupulous cablers will do that. Um, what will happen is it will work fine that first day, but not the uh, not at six months later, and it will be because the you, you can't reuse patch panels. So once you punch down to a port on the patch panel, uh, don't unpunch that port down and add another cable. Then repunch down a, a new cable. It just won't work. Um, again, it may work initially, but not for a long haul. And patch panels are too inexpensive uh, to be uh, playing games with them. Now here at uh, CableSupply.com, it's actually, uh, we're related, uh, or actually a, uh, uh, a division of another company called Nova Voice and Data Systems. Nova Voice and Data Systems has been cabling for over 20 years, and uh, they have cabled in every single state in the United States more than once. So we've been all over the United States, Hawaii, uh, not only continental United States, but Hawaii and Alaska also. And these parts that we sell on our, our website um, are quality parts. Can you buy something cheaper on the Internet? Absolutely. You can find cheaper patch panels uh, on the Internet and cheaper parts, cheaper jacks probably and everything else. We hope you can, but we know that that's the reality of the Internet. The difference between our parts and uh, the cheapest part you can possibly buy on the Internet is that our parts are the parts that we use in our cabling company, Nova Voice and Data Systems. And so we've come to a conclusion that there's certain quality that we need because we give a 15-year warranty in our installations. And it costs us more to go out and replace a jack than it does to spend maybe you know, 50 cents more per jack and have a quality jack that's going to last the life of the system. So you can get cheaper jacks. I'm sure you can buy them at some stores or on the Internet. Uh, but we will not sell uh, low-quality equipment. We only sell equipment that we use every single day for our customers at the uh, cabling company. And um, we will not succumb to the, the cheaper jacks, nor do we reuse jacks or patch panels because of our warranty. So if you really want a quality job, we sell only quality parts at the lowest possible price. Please buy them through our website. You'll end up with quality parts, quality cable. You'll do the job once, rather, multiple times. And if you're cabling for someone else, another one of your customers, then they're not going to be mad at you six months from now. So uh, uh, thank you for your time uh, watching the video. Again, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. You have a great day.